Okay, well we got the AC in. We got it pretty much trimmed out. We still got to caulk a few things, just clean it up, make it look nice. I used uh, some garage door trim that has the seal on there. So we used uh, the spray foam to seal up all the edges underneath it. Then, of course, we used some silicone on top of that, sealed all the trim in. And this is the interior. Again, we've got the molding up, still got a caulk in here and make it look pretty. We got the cord going up, drilled a hole and have it coming up through here. The bad part about that is I had to uh, take the uh, little GFI thing off there. It's, of course, everything is soldered on, so you got to unsolder it. Then, of course, solder it back on, but it's better than drilling one big old hole to get that through the cabinet. So, it worked out okay. So, it should be nice and chilly in there now. Yeah, you see, we got the door on. That's our offset piano hinge. I don't, I don't think it was quite far enough offset for what I was doing, but it works. Just not sure if I'm going to be able to use the the T-seal molding that I got. I think it might be a little bit too thick. I might have to go to something else. Yeah, this is our door edge trim there. And yeah, we got it in, you know, and took a hammer and bent it over to kind of make a little sandwich out of it around the three quarter inch plywood but uh, yeah aesthetically it's not too great but it, it'll be fine once you get the mattress in there you're not going to see the bottom part of it anyways it looks fine from the outside just the inside isn't great it's yeah, the edge of the molding on the door and then that little groove is where we'll put our seal at seal against the door frame and that's our offset piano hinge from this side so I think this should have stuck out just a little bit further. You can tell when it's shut, it's already pretty flat against there. Should have had a little more room for the uh, seal, but we'll make it work. And the offset piano hinge on the one side, I should have noticed it before, but it wasn't quite bent at 90 degrees. It was pe uh, bent a little bit past 90 degrees, so it makes just a little bit of binding. And I think that's part of it. You can tell the door doesn't shut all the way. It wants to pop back open, but once we get the lock in there, it's not going to be a big deal. Eventually on this top part through here, we'll, we'll have a drip rail. I think we'll go all the way over this thing. And that'll, you know, if it's raining or whatnot, it, don't have to worry about it. One extra precaution to not have a leak. And I think the same with this this part of the piano hinge. I know sometimes you can get a seal in between the two where the hinge, hinges meet and seal it. But I'll end up probably putting a like a drip rail this way and kind of covering over this just a little bit. So at least when you're driving in the rain or whatnot. Not that I have to worry about it too much here in the desert, but depending on where we're going camping at. You know, just to keep the water out of there. As I said, just a precaution.
And the same for the AC. I'll be building a, a box, a foam insulated box, you know, with the metal on the outside. We'll have it butt up to this here with a seal and have little buckles to be able to, you know, latch it on there. So it'll just slide over it while we're driving. Don't have to worry about rocks hitting the, the condenser or anything like that. So that'll be in the near near future.